Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a question that I can answer without a bit more information about the particular circumstances for your husband. It could be that actually this is incorrect in the way in which they're calculating holiday pay for bank holidays for him. But without exploring in more information about whether the business closes on a bank holiday um, or if he's required to work, that sort of thing, I won't really be able to advise on it. Um, so if you do want to get in touch, then leave a, a note in the comments or you can contact my office directly and we'll have a chat through. But what I would say and what this question does highlight is something that I think I should bring to your attention in relation to holiday, which is that there is a difference currently in what the law says about how pay should be calculated for holiday. So let me explain. Under European law, when we were in the EU, it was dictated that there was a minimum of four weeks holiday for employees and workers throughout Europe. And that was implemented into UK law under the working time regulations. Now, all of the decisions around how you calculate holiday and what you include in calculating the week's pay for holiday all come from European law and the interpretation of European law. And so it only really applies to the first four weeks or the four weeks of holiday that are stipulated by law under the working time regulations from the original holiday entitlement. The additional 1.6 weeks so bringing the minimum holiday to 5.6 weeks was introduced by the UK government a few years ago to cover bank holidays because it was a situation where many people were being given four weeks holiday plus bank holidays and others were getting four weeks inclusive of bank holidays. So they introduced this additional 1.6 weeks to effectively cover the eight bank holidays. So everybody is entitled to 5.6 weeks, which can be inclusive of bank holidays. Now, the additional 1.6 weeks is actually covered by UK law and so not necessarily covered by the European cases which set out how much you're being required to pay. So this means that in this situation your husband's employer may be doing a difference between bank holidays and the four weeks holiday um, under the law as it currently stands. So it's just something to note if your employer is paying differently for bank holidays it might be the reason why but it's worth clarifying with them. And in this situation, it could be that they're getting it all wrong anyway and that you need some further advice.